Welcome back to another tactical video. Today we will be testing out a tactic from somebody else in the FM community. The tactic was found on FM Arena but it was created by CBP87, someone who's in the Discord channel. The link to the Discord will be in the description and this tactic is a very very good one. It was a tweaked version of a different tactic, both of the tactics will be linked in the description and you can see it's a 442 diamond, it was tested with 3 teams, Liverpool, PSG and Aston Villa but we decided to also test it with 3 teams, we did test it again with Liverpool but also this time with West Ham and Angers in League 1, all getting some very good results so before we get stuck into things make sure you are subscribed make sure you like the video you can leave in the comments as well what tactic you would like to see done next and lastly if you enjoy watching free football or just finding the latest football news and stats then this app is certainly for you one football and the rdf tactics channel have chosen to collab once again downloading this app would help this channel out in many ways but why exactly should you download it? The OneFootball app is an excellent app for football fans. It's the best place to check recent news, legally watch matches, yes, for free, and you can follow your team and be notified when something major happens. It's also great to check out the latest transfer rumours, and if you're like me, you don't want to miss out on any rumours, transfer season can be fun. Once all the league starts up as well, it's a great app to check statistics. This channel creates recreations. Using the OneFootball app helps grab vital stats, but also you will have access to team lineups before the football match starts. This is a great app if you want to follow football around the world or get the latest news just on your team. So make sure you try it out, but it does also help this channel out a lot and gives it many great opportunities to grow. So give it a go and I promise you won't regret it. So as mentioned before, it is a 442 diamond with two wingers. The two wingers are defensive wingers and the two fullbacks are inverted wingbacks. So the type of movements that we are expecting to see is both wingers getting further forward. Your attacking midfield is also going to join their strikers, but your wingbacks will be looking to cut inside and form kind of a three man central midfield unless the deep line playmaker is also going up forward to support the attack. The weakness we can see quite clearly are on the flanks. If in play we do lose the ball and both wing backs are inside then we do have a weakness out wide but of course the tactic is a very good tactic and it's not many times these weaknesses get exposed. But that's enough of the whiteboard, we are now going to go into Football Manager to look at the tactic in a little bit more detail. So here's the tactic in Football Manager, as we can see it's called Mongoose, it's got 101 points, I'm guessing that was with Liverpool, I'm guessing anyway. So what we're going to do is have a quick run through the team instructions, the player instructions of course as well, and then we are going to look at the results with Angers, Liverpool and West Ham. With Liverpool we are expecting good results, but we just want to see how good we can get them. And with West Ham we are expecting some okay results, and with Angers, well, it is kind of whatever. So for the tactic instructions, the mentality is on positive, the attacking width is set to fairly wide so naturally you will be looking to play in a more expansive manner. For the approach play they are going to attempt to play out from the back which is very good considering you have the sweeper keeper, two ball playing defenders and a deep line playmaker, all of which are ball playing players. The passing directness is set to standard so they are going to be playing kind of direct, they do want to knock the ball about but they also want to get the ball further forward and we can see that with the tempo as well that is set to extremely high. In the final third we are going to be putting in some low crosses and we are also going to be working the ball into the box. In transition of course we are going to counter press as well as counter, that for me are kind of the normal instructions on Football Manager especially if you want to build a successful tactic now. I'm not saying you can only build a successful tactic using these instructions but we know these instructions or just playing on the front foot can work well in Football Manager. When the goalkeeper is in possession he will look to be rolling it out. 
out of possession we are going to be using the offside trap trying to catch the strikers offside with the much higher line of engagement a standard defense line the defensive width is set to standard as well extremely urgent pressing and preventing that short goalkeeper distribution so that there is the team instructions we can see that was fairly aggressive now for the player instructions in goal we do have the sweeper keeper on the supportive duty two ball playing defenders in central defense and they are instructed to shoot less often stay wider and tackle harder both full backs are inverted wing backs they too have identical instructions dribble more shoot less often and tackle harder in defensive midfield we have a deep line playmaker but someone that's instructed to dribble more with the ball just bring it forward and he's also instructed to tackle harder on the flanks we have two defensive wingers they are going to be putting in a shift they're going to be getting up and down but most of all they are going to be putting pressure on the opponent's fullbacks quite often they are instructed to take more risk cross from the byline as they can cross quite deep without that instruction and they will be shooting less often in attacking midfield we just have the standard attacking midfielder with the attacking duty he's going to be taking more risk dribbling more shooting less often moving into the channels and tackling harder up top we have the two goal scorers the two advanced forward the only instruction they have is tackle harder so even with the player roles we can see this tactic is fairly aggressive not overly aggressive nothing too aggressive something that obviously can work with all teams liverpool west ham aston villa angers it really doesn't matter this tactic should do well enough for you certainly overachieve but now we are going to be looking at the results first off we're going to start with angers then we're going to look at liverpool and west ham So for Angers, we finished second, which is absolutely outrageous in my opinion. Angers, they played 38, they won 22, drawing 10, losing 6 with a goal difference of plus 41, a points tally of 76. They got knocked out in the 11th round by Monaco in the Coupe de France, but we don't really care about that. In Ligue 1, Angers finished second, which means they will be playing Champions League football next season, but that is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion we do have two strikers in the top goal scoring chart so we have so we do have Stefan Bohoken as you can see his attributes aren't great he is kind of fast he does have decent attributes in the physical area but overall he's not a great striker he managed to score 23 goals in 31 games and we also have Jimmy Cabot he played up front or he played on the flanks you can see his attributes as well He's actually worse than the striker I just showed you, but he scored 17 goals with 11 assists, getting an XG of 12.33, an average rating of 7.14, absolutely incredible. For the assists, we have two players in the assist charts in the top three. We do have a couple players with the yellow cards as well, but our goalkeeper did manage to keep 16 clean sheets. So for the most goals, we scored 85. For the most shots, four, we came in second. Fewer shots against, we are fifth, but that's very decent for angers for the best pass completion we aren't in the top eight but for the average possession 53 percent to angers impressive most tackles won angers are in seventh with 805 most dribbles made angers 116 top three and for the most clean sheet angers are joint fourth with 16 clean sheets looking at the player stats now we've seen that our strikers got 23 goals he was the top striker in league one for the assist it is our player again and tone him Bobby Can, Bobby Chun, I'm not exactly sure I'm, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he's a winger, he's decent, he's not bad, he could do with more pace, he's freaking taken as all right, actually he's not that great, he's not that great, he's dribbling on 12, he's flares on 12, it doesn't really matter though, he played 32 games and getting 14 assists, likely though, likely he did take corners, but Jimmy Cabot also got 11 assists, so the attacking players are doing fairly well in this tactic. The striker had the third most shots in League 1 for the most man of the match awards. The striker is joint fifth. Most key passes is that winger so he could be the one responsible for the corners. For the best pass completion it is our, is he a centre back? Yes he is, Romain Thomas. 32 years of age most tackles won we have Dumbia with 122 for the most dribbles made we don't have an individual and for the most clean sheets it's our goalkeeper with 16. 
Now, we can look at the team report before looking at the Liverpool and West Ham results. We can see that this tactic was fairly aggressive and clinical. Looking at the general performance, we kind of overperformed or outperformed in most areas apart from the tackles one ratio and the pass completion ratio. So, if you want to kind of improve on our stats, you can kind of just watch the games, kind of make those tweaks. For the pass completion, you could just ask certain players to pass it shorter, especially if they're just the ones kicking it long. And for the tackles one ratio, well, you can kind of draw back your pressing intensity or drop down your line of engagement. I noticed that dropping down your line of engagement or just playing kind of in mid block, you do put in a lot of tackles. Lastly, the squad stats, we do have the striker with 24 goals in all competitions. Jimmy Cabot with 17 goals and 14 assists. We do also have Sofia Mbufa with 12 goals, 10 assists. And we have Sada Fiob, Safia, Sada Fiob, Fob, Fiob, it doesn't matter. He scored 10 goals, got three assists. And for the average rating, we do have a lot of players in that green, which is always pleasing to see. That's very nice. We got very good results with Angus, of course, but now, 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 it's time to check the results with Liverpool and West Ham. So let's load up that save. So here we are with the Premier League save. I obviously was the manager of both clubs and we went on holiday. Liverpool ended up winning the league. They played 38, they won 31, drawing five, losing two. Kind of the results that we do expect. They got 98 points. The original tactic creator got 101 points. So we aren't far away. Just one win. Literally just one win away. So we are getting some similar results as the tactic creator. But with West Ham, we did finish sixth, which is a very good result. Don't get me wrong. They played 38 games. They won 20, drawing five and losing 13. So with West Ham, it might do with a little tweaking. You can just keep it. Finishing six and getting into the Europa with West Ham is fairly decent on Football Manager. Of course, we know they did it in real life. But to repeat that again, that is fairly impressive. We can also look at the competition. So if I go to Liverpool, go to the competitions, Liverpool won the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, the Community Shield. So we're just going to claim a Kajubal, okay? Can we? We'll just claim the Kajubal. In the Champions League, they got knocked out in the first round by Bayern Munich. It's not an embarrassment, but if you consider getting knocked out in the first round, we did slightly underperform. So that is how well Liverpool done in their trophies or competitions. For West Ham, they obviously didn't win the League Cup or the FA Cup. So in the Conference League, they enter the FA Cup semi-final with Southampton. So they got to the semi-final and in the Carabao Cup, they actually were the runners up. So it was West Ham versus Liverpool. But most impressively, drum roll. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know why I drum roll when you can actually see it on the screen. But the Europa League, we won the Europa. Well, West Ham won the Europa League with this tactic. Absolutely bizarre. So they won the Europa League. They are now in the Champions League the next season, I believe. They beat Marseille in the final. It was a tight game. West Ham did slightly lead on the XG, but Marseille did have more shots at goal with a slightly more higher percentage of the possession as well. But that doesn't matter. Jared Bowen and Ben Rama both on the score sheet West Ham are European champions well Europa League champions so for the team overall for the most goals Liverpool topped that list with 117 West Ham in fourth place with 77 most shots for Liverpool first West Ham fourth fewer shots again against Liverpool are second but West Ham aren't in the top eight so again maybe some tweaking defensively but finishing six with West Ham that is just it's amazing and winning Europa League as well we can't forget that for the best pass completion we don't have anybody in the top eight for the most possession Liverpool with 52% of the ball for the most tackles won West Ham are fourth Liverpool are fifth and for the most dribbles made West Ham surprisingly are joint fifth and kind of surprising that Liverpool aren't in this list considering they have some great dribblers for the clean sheets Liverpool are fourth with 17 just two away from the eventual leaders and for the fewest conceded Liverpool with 35 are third looking at the player stats for the most goals Mo Salah with 38 goals in the Premier League basically a goal a game Sadio Mane with 17 goals well Salah had a goal every 82 minutes. That's impressive. Trent Alexander-Arnold with the most assists on full team. James Milner with 12. Aaron Creswell with 10 as well. So actually, if we did the squads, because it was the assistant manager, if we did the squads, maybe we could have done a little bit better. 
They did play James Milner, but we know that James Milner isn't the greatest player in that Liverpool side. And it's quite surprising that he got games, but I'm guessing they played him as a defensive winger. For the most shots, Mo Salah with 141. For the most player of the match awards, Mo Salah with 12. Most key passes, well, I was just dissing James Milner. I will take that back. He played the most key passes, but it is likely that he was responsible for some corners as well. Just like Aaron Criswell, he played 142 key passes. Andrew Robertson is fourth on that list. For the best pass completion, nobody's there. For the most tackles won, nobody's there. For the most dribbles made, nobody's there. Most clean sheets, Alisson is there. I thought we was going to have a little song there. Alisson is in fourth place with 17 clean sheets and for the fewest conceded, we have Alisson in fifth place. Now, similar to Angers, we can look at the squad stats for West Ham. Mikel Antonio scored 30 goals in all... Why am I clicking so much? Mikel Antonio scored 30 goals in all competitions, getting 10 assists as well, so he played fairly well. Saeed Ben Rama played... Or scored 25 goals, sorry, getting 9 assists. Yarmolenko getting 19 goals, 10 assists. And Nikola Vlasic getting 15 goals with 10 assists. So the players for West Ham also done well. Looking at the average rating, we do have a few players in that green again. For me, that is just a satisfying sight. Now we can look at Liverpool. Well, if you're interested with the team report, we can see that West Ham were fairly aggressive and clinical. Liverpool, though, were very aggressive and clinical. For the general performance, similar to Angers, we are outperforming or overperforming in certain areas, but for the tackles one ratio and the pass completion, so that area of the tactic can be tweaked. So that there is the West Ham results. With the Liverpool results, of course, we've seen all of this already. We can look at the player stats. Mo Salah, 58 goals 11 assists as well getting an average rating of 7.53 Sadio Mane getting 25 goals 10 assists Bobby Firmino also getting 12 goals 11 assists Joel Matip getting 11 goals and 2 assists Joel Matip certainly getting those goals from set pieces and James Milner getting 10 goals with 19 assists so let me just put the face cam there boom for the conclusion it's a very good tactic of course it is and it is one that is suitable for all teams as we've seen it works with angers with west ham we won the european trophy and with liverpool we technically won the kajubal if we want to count the community shield if not we won the treble which is good enough and we got knocked out in the champions league by bayern munich which is no embarrassment so overall the tactic for me if i'm going to give it out of a what should we do should we do it out of 10 or out of five i'll say out of five I'm giving this tactic, I have to give it a 4 out of 5, it has to be a 4 out of 5. To get a 5 out of 5, I mean, you have to smash everything, I'm looking for everything perfect. But a 4 out of 5, we can also do 0.5s, so this tactic is a 4, not quite a 4.5, it's a 4, it's very solid, it suits everyone, you score goals, very tweakable. As we can see in the tactics, if I just go back to the game screen, when looking at the tactic and each players, they aren't like loaded with so many instructions, even the team instructions, they aren't a big deal. So things can be tweaked. You can watch it. It could be easy or simple just to find some certain tweaks. We know that the passing completion isn't great. So what you can try out at first is shorter passing. For the tackles one as well, maybe we're just missing too many tackles. Maybe that's the pressing intensity or maybe that's the line of engagement. All you've got to do is just try it out. Just try it out. Make sure it's suitable for your team. The tactic already is just suitable for everyone, but you can make it more suitable for your team, of course. Make it a bit more tailor-made. Let me get the face cam again. Voila. So that's the tactic. It's a four out of five for me. An absolute fantastic tactic created by CBP87. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you do join the Discord as well. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share it. Leave in the comments what tactic you would like to see next. Also, make sure you download that one football app if you haven't. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Stay safe. Much love and thank you.